Hi everyone, how's it going today? So I'm so stinking excited for this one. You guys know me, I love the color pink. I just love any time I can add flowers and bling to the album. And so that's definitely what this album is all about. So of course, before I show you the album, I'll show you the paper pad. This one, I actually forgot I had in my collection. I was going through all the paper pads. If you see my craft room tour, I leave a stack of paper pads that I have not yet used um, on my printer. And I was going through all of them and I was like, huh, when did I get this? It just magically showed up. But regardless, the paper collection is so beautiful. It's from Recollections. And uh, like I say, time and time again, they are definitely killing it in the graphics game. I love it. Um, um, although you can see some of these recycled images from the uh, one of the Paris albums. I can't remember, but I definitely remember these uh, the same exact ones. <clears throat> but I'm not mad. I like them. They're cute. And so I love all the gold foil and all the... Oh my gosh, this one is my favorite page. I mean, if I could just have a whole wall of this please give it to me please give it to me and <laughs> and i just love i mean look at these they're just so awesome and definitely these will be cute like if you um did a shadow frame and did like a little collection of handmade flowers around it you know i might do that but i love these papers i didn't get a chance to use as many as i wanted to because it's a smaller album but ugh, look at these watercolor flowers they're just so amazing and i did actually free cut some of them out and use them as embellishments for this um, and so let's go ahead and show you what I did alright so first of all let me give you the measurements of the cover and the inside <clears throat> so the cover is uh, oops I have it backwards <laughs> hello got with the program alright so the cover is five and three quarters by seven and a half and the inside is seven by five and a quarter alright so I wanted to do it a little bit smaller uh, just because I've been doing really large albums and there's been a lot of um, paper waste, I would say. Like, not waste because I use all my scraps, but way more um, cut off or trimmed off than I wanted to. So I was trying to make it work with the paper that I had already. Uh, I used the 8.5 by 11 sheets of paper, but I just love the way this came out. So let's go ahead and talk about the cover. So first off, you see this fun little frame. It's actually a wood frame that I painted, added some sequins to. I pop dotted it, and you can see I made it into a shaker. There we go. I found these little um, confetti things, these iridescent things. Um, I can't really explain what they are, but I added them in here, added some sequins, added some glitter, chunky glitter in there. And then, so for the outside, I have some homemade flowers here, some, um, I believe they are AliExpress roses right here. <clears throat> and then this one um, is a cloth flower I had in my collection. And then I just added some green stems over here. Um, and then this beautiful ribbon. I only have like four inches left of it. And I'm so sad. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> which is why it's only on the front. But, let's talk about this chunky glitter. If, you, if you're not on my Instagram, go over to my Instagram. You'll see I bought a whole bunch of uh, glitter canvases. But I love this pink one. I didn't think I was going to because of how chunky it was. But, oh my gosh I am in love <clears throat> and so in, what I ended up doing is I added like a little bow um, I added some gold chain some pearl chain or some pearl string and some regular string that I um some of them I put some pearls at the bottom and then I added some um, pearls right here in the middle and then here is the back of course undecorated I didn't put any of that ribbon on the back because I wanted it to be able to lay flat um, and of course I only had four inches left of it. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and open this baby up. All right, so for this, this page, um, I really, I don't normally do gold foil in the inside of my covers, but this one was kind of begging to be used <clears throat> just cause it was so gorgeous and I, I didn't use it in my actual album. Um, and so I just, I don't know. I love the way it came out. I, I might end up using more gold foil in the inside of my covers, um, and so anyways, what I did is do a little side pocket and see, because I love that paper, it's the first thing in here. And so what I did is I used my, um, We Are Memory Keepers alphabet punch board, except for the V, I kind of did that free cut because the V was a weird shape in that. 
and I did not like that. All right, so uh, here's one insert. It'll look cute with the wallet photo. You can, you know, either put it straight, put it sideways, but I did leave it open on the back, so if you wanted to put like a three by three, um, three quarter photo, you can fit that on here, because it's a four by four. And then I just added that little chipboard on here. This is a, this is cut at four by six, the photo map, <clears throat> but you can, uh, this is a four by five, um, and you can still see that beautiful pattern paper in the background. And of course you can always add a four by six to the back of this. There we go. And you'll still get that beautiful black background and it'll make that photo pop. All right. So there's that. And of course I added some chipboard in the corner. <clears throat> and then this I just added cause uh, you can either add photos or you can write a note to whoever you're giving it to. Or, you know, you can uh, journal in it. But it was beautiful. I loved it. And, of course, because all the inserts um, are the same right here. So they all have this beautiful striped paper like that one. And then you can add some journaling down here. And it'll fit a 4 by 6 and <clears throat> a 4 by 4 So uh, if you wanted to, you can add a 4 by 4 you know, cut off an inch right here. And you can add some journaling down here. Or... What I like is you can eat, just add the 4x6 straight on there and you'll kind of get like a little border effect with the different patterns of paper on there. So choice is completely up to you. Um, I, that's why I didn't add any lines for journaling so that way if you wanted to journal you could. If you didn't want to you didn't have to. Um, and then it's blank on the back with the little heart punch. There we go. Um, and so uh, of course you can always add the picture to the back as well and still get that really bold black background. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the second page. Um, this one, oh, I did add uh, the storybook cartridge uh, for the lettering in here. I only, I think I used it only on two, I believe. Um, but I did use uh, glitter paper on, on both of them. And so it says, this is great. Um, and this will fit a uh, four by four. I should have, let me go grab a four by four photo. Let me show you. All right, <laughs> here's a better effect. So here's the four by four. Uh, the one that I grabbed was a four by five. But anyways, so you can see, you'll still see that beautiful paper in the background. Um, and so I'll show you this with the inserts. So here's that four by four. You can add that journaling to the bottom if you wanted to. Um, but I think, like I said, it'll look great with the four by six as well. And so this one is, I, I got this little cut from the, Anna something ribbons and bows cartridge Anna Griffin <laughs> ribbons and bows cricket cartridge I'm sorry I'm blanking here uh, but anyways you can add uh, a wallet photo there and then it opens up so you can add more wallet photos there or you know trim down some four by six photos and again right here and you can see I use this paper a lot because I did love it I told you guys time and time again, and I'll probably tell you again before this video is over. So this is just a little journaling tag that was in the collection. And Oops, sorry for moving that. And then this one, I left it open in the back so you can add that 4x6 photo and get that beautiful border over that uh, picture. Um, and then you can still tuck that tag in there. There we go. And again, so here is that um, tag. They're all the same. Blank on the back. All right, and so for this one, I don't have a uh, picture that's trimmed down, but it's a, it'll fit a four by three in here. Here's a four by four. You can see if I cut off another inch, it'll definitely fit right in there, but I cut these frames a little bit smaller than I intended, but it ended up coming out really cute because it left enough room around the edge to show, still show those um, pattern paper in the back when you put the photo in. Um, and so anyways, this one I used the Cindy Lou cartridge. I added some sequins and pearls and little hearts on top. Um, in the ugh, in the cartridge, the frame comes with this little, um, I guess it's like a little swirly or filigree or whatever on the side. Um, and I thought it was just gorgeous and it fit the collection, made it look very classy. Um, all right, and so this is what I was talking about. I cut apart some of those um, flowers on that paper and used it as decoration. So here is a wallet size photo here. And of course, like I said, you can always trim down a four by six photo. 
Uh, this is a four by four and you'll still see a lot of that beautiful gold on there. Um, but I really love those roses. Okay, so for this one, I did, um, well, of course you can add photos there, but I did add a little binder clip just as a little decoration. And so what I did is I actually, uh, made a little charm. They're all different too. So I made a little charm and then I added a little bit of tool on here. Um, I didn't have gold clips, so silver will do, but I still think it looks really gorgeous with all the bling that's in here. Um, all right, and so this one I left blank, so you could either journal on it or add another picture on there. Whew, I am running out of voice. I'm just so too excited over here. All right, <laughs> so for this one, um, so this background, you see, I don't throw away my stuff, so I cut out these chevrons on here. But I didn't want to throw away this little border, so I ended up using it. And I like the way it came out because it was just like a little collage with some chipboard and digital uh, flowers on there. And uh, I just added a little pearl in there. So here's a 4x4 four four photo right here, and you'll still see that beautiful, those beautiful flowers in the background. Um, Alright, so here's another one of those little frames, and it is open on the back, of course, because they're all pop dotted up. And so one side of the um, frame is... Um, not closed so you can slide stuff in and out um, and then I added some little sequins with a little title and some pearls and of course you still get that beautiful little swirly right there um, and so for this one I wanted to add another little card but um, I kind of wanted to brighten up the, the pages of these two because it's really really pink so I just added this white gold little um, <coughs> paper in here with the little title it says feeling rosy with some pearls right here then when you open it up, again, it's like the same as the insert um, within the first or the second and third page. So you have this really, uh, it's this glossy paper was part of my collection, but I couldn't find a green that um, emphasized how beautiful this collection is. So I added this uh, paper that I had, <clears throat> and so because I, I I did want some of that green to stand out. And so, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and turn the page. So again, it's blank on the back. Um, you can add a photo, journaling, um, and then so these are some journaling tags. So here's one again with that little charm that I made, and then here's another one that says, Be kind, life will be gold. And it just fits right in there. But then, surprise, surprise, it is a belly band page for some photo mats. So here we go, and these are four by six, I believe. Yeah, so here's 4 by 6 It'll cover that pattern paper, um, but here's a 4 by 4 if you still wanted to see some of that um, beautiful paper on there. And again, with this one, there we go. Or, you know, you can put it down a little lower, add some journaling up here. Um, choice is really yours, but I thought I uh, wanted to give you the option to do that. So there we go. They just slide in like that. All right, and so here's the other page with the storybook cartridge font. And so what I did <clears throat> is I ended up using the word beauty and I pop dotted every other word on here to give it just a little bit more of dimension. And then I added some pearls down here. Here's a little four by four for you. There we go. And then again, here's one of those frames. And I just did a little layered um, banner down here with some sequins and pearls and a little chipboard up there. All right, and so for this page, it says on top of the world, and I did another little banner that's um, kind of layered, and here's those free cut flowers behind there. Um, and then I layered it on top of some vellum. There's a four by four photo there, and you can still probably put a four by um, five photo down here, and it'll still look great, um, but I just put that one away. <laughs> and so uh, this one here is the uh, wallet size photo that'll fit behind here. And I did leave it open on the back in case you wanted to place it wherever you wanted to. And again, here's another one of those, uh, those little binder clips. There we go. And then when you open it up, more spots for photos, more spots for photos. And this is just a beautiful spot for a four by six. And there we go. <clears throat> and you can probably fit a maybe a five by seven on here but you won't see much of the background but that is an option here um and then so again here is another one of those uh beautiful frames um i added a clear sticker clear white sticker right here i made a little heart embellishment with another heart on top of it you can't see it but there is some fringe right there 
and I added some sequins. And then, of course, on these ones, you can always add photos to them if you want um, or, you know, whatever. It's your choice. The choice is up to you. But uh, I added a lot of little pop dots on here, but there is still plenty of expandable room for photos. So uh, I hope you guys like the album. I absolutely love, love this album. It's so pink and beautiful. Uh, let me know what you guys think or if you have any questions, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.